In this lesson, we will review strategies for addition and subtraction that your child has worked on in first and second grades. These strategies will be expanded upon in third grade for computing larger numbers. What is a strategy? A strategy is a flexible method that is based on an understanding of numbers that varies depending on the numbers involved. Let's talk about possible strategies for addition and subtraction. Make 10. This is one of the most important strategies for students and is useful when one of the two numbers ends with an 8 or 9, but it can be used with any digit. For example, if I am adding 28 plus 7, I could add 2 to 28 to make 30, and then I would have to subtract 2 to compensate for the number I added. The 7 becomes 5, so that gives me 30 plus 5, which is 35. Doubles. What is a double? A double is when you add two numbers that are alike. For example, 3 plus 3 equals 6, 2 plus 2 equals 4. Students have been working on these for the last two years. Making doubles is useful when adding two numbers that are close to each other on the number line. For example, 25 plus 28. I can double 25 plus 25 to get 50, then add the remaining 3 to get 53. Making easy numbers. 50 plus 35. 50 plus 30, which is 80, and plus 5, which is 85. So 50 plus 35 gives an answer of 85. Let's try jumps of 10. Twenty-two plus forty-five. I can decompose forty and five in order to count by four groups of ten. I count twenty-two, thirty-two, forty-two, fifty-two, sixty-two, and then my five, which is sixty-seven. In expanded form, students can use their understanding of place value to add or subtract large numbers. For example, two hundred thirty-six plus one hundred twenty-three. 236 can be expanded to 200 plus 30 plus 6, and 123 can be expanded to 100 plus 20 plus 3. So we can add the hundreds, 200 plus 100 equals 300, then add the tens, 30 plus 20 equals 50, then add the units, 6 plus 3 equals 9 to get our answer of 300 plus 50 plus 9, or 359. In a subtraction problem, 849 minus 145 will do 849 minus 100 plus 40 plus 5, and then subtract the hundreds, so 849 minus 100 equals 749, then subtract the tens, 749 minus 40 equals 709, then subtract the units. 709 minus 5 equals 704. The last method is compensation. Compensation is the ability to add or subtract from a number and then compensate for the difference after solving. For example, 55 plus 38. Students may change 38 to 40. Add 55 plus 40 to get 95, then subtract the 2 they added earlier to get 93. Here's an example of using compensation with subtraction. 400 minus 29. Well, we can take 1 from the 400, so 400 minus 1 is 399, and 29 minus 1 is 28. Subtracting 399 minus 28 gives us 371. In this lesson, we have learned several strategies that can be used for addition or subtraction. Those strategies are make 10, doubles, decomposing numbers by making easy numbers, jumps of 10, using expanded form and compensation.